第十六條啦，繼續係基礎遺傳學嘅題目啦。紅花溝白花出嚟嘅第一代咧，一半就係紅花，另一半就係白花，即係一比一啦個表現型。然後啦，將第一代嘅白花自我交配出到嚟嘅第二代咧，全部。都係白花，題目就問啦，可以得出咩嘅結論？咁當然啦，又係考翻我哋根據實驗結果得出結論啦。要拆解呢條題目咧，最重要嘅 concept 咧，就要睇翻父母親嗰輩嘅交配啦。紅花溝白花出到嚟係一半一半嘅紅白花，呢、这、一個係一個測交嘅結果嚟嘅。點解咧？睇翻呢一幅圖你就知道啦。我哋有一隻顯性但係唔知基因型嘅生物，當佢係 T 大階 T， 成翻一隻純合型嘅隱性嘅生物咧，出到嚟佢哋個顯性同埋隱性嘅表現型比例就係一比一，同而家一模一樣。亦即係話喺呢個測交入面咧，嗰對父母嘅基因型可能係大世界 A 成世界世界 A， 而佢哋嘅後代嘅基因型咧，亦都係集合型或者係純合嘅隱性。就只係爭在究竟紅花係集合型定係純合型咧，又或者白花佢係集合型定係純合型嘅隱性呢？不過唔緊要，因為題目有第二代嘅出現，我哋將第一代嘅白花自行交配，出到嚟嘅第二代全部都係白色花。根據結果推論呢。呢、这個第一代嘅白花，佢應該係純合型嘅隱性。我做一次反轉嚟諗啦，如果啦呢個白色花佢係集合型嘅話咧，大世界 A 成大世界 A， 所以出到嚟嘅紅白花嘅比例咧就會係三比一，三紅一白。就算唔係三紅一白，起碼有啲紅嘅出現啦，係咪？但係而家見唔見到啊？冇喎、啊，全部咧都係得白色。所以我哋咧就肯定得到呢個白色花咧，應該係一個純合型嘅隱性啦。因為世界世界 A 成翻世界世界 A 出到嚟嘅後代，全部都係純合型嘅隱性。咁既然白花係純合隱性，咁紅花一定係集合型啦。所以當第一代嘅紅花後代係集合型嘅時候，喺集合型嘅情況底下，只有顯性嘅特徵能夠被表達到出嚟。所以紅花嘅等位基因就係一個顯性嘅等位基因。所以答案咧就係 D 啦。Red flower is the dominant character in this species of flower。咁其實 A、B、C 咧都係因為結果咧而推論出嚟嘅。紅花佢係咪純合型？唔係，佢應該係一個集合型嘅情況。白花佢係集合型，都錯，佢應該係一個純合隱性嘅情況。而 C 就話白花反而係一個顯性嘅特徵。都錯，因為佢應該係一個隱性嘅特徵，所以大家咧要對嗰啲一比一啊、三比一啊、一啦呢啲 ratio 咧要係好清晰嘅。Question 16 is the basic genetics question in the crossing of a red flower plant with the white flower plant. Half the F1 offspring were red flower and the other half were white flower. That means the phenotype of red flower to white flower it should be one to one. And for the F1 white flower were self cross. And all the F2 offspring were right flower. So what can we conclude? So in this question is checking the skills of using the data to draw the conclusion. In this question, the critical concept is about the test cross between the parental plant. How can we know that it is a test cross? According to this example, we have a dominant organism with unknown genotype. Homozygous dominant or heterozygous, we don't know. So we cross it with the homozygous recessive organism, and to see the phenotypic ratio of the offspring, which is the dominant characteristic to the recessive characteristic, is one to one. So from the observation, the phenotypic ratio of the right flower and the red flower. So based on the observation, the phenotypic ratio of the red flower and the right flower is one to one. So so it can be con. Concluded that possible genotype of the parents can be heterozygous and homozygous recessive, and the possible genotype of the F1 offspring can also be heterozygous and homozygous recessive. But we just don't know that whether the red flower is heterozygous or homozygous recessive, or the right flower is heterozygous or the homozygous recessive. And luckily, there is a second cross. Which is the self cross of the right flower F1, and all the F2 they are red flower. So we can conclude that the genotype of the right flower in F1 it should be the homozygous recessive. So I explain it by using the genetic diagram. 
What if the right flower genotype is heterozygous? So in the offspring, the phenotypic ratio of the red flower to the right flower, it should be 3 to 1. However, can you see any red flower in F2? You cannot. All of them, they're the right flower. It's just like the case of the small small a times the small small a. The offspring will still be homozygous recessive. So we know that if the right flower, they are homozygous recessive, so the genotype of the red flower, it should be the heterozygous. So in the F1, the red flower plant is heterozygous. And in heterozygous condition, only dominant characteristic is expressed. So the red flower allele is the dominant allele. And the answer will be D. So what about A, B, C? Option A, red flower are the homozygous, which is one, it should be the heterozygous condition. And for the right flower, they are heterozygous, it's also wrong, they should be homozygous recessive. And for option C, the right flower is the dominant character, it's also wrong, it should be the recessive character. So in this question, what I want to remind you is that you need to be very sensitive to those typical ratio, 1 to 1, 3 to 1, or 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. 